Well, today we definitely got a taste of summer, more like a heaping helping of summer as we are back into the 80s for the first time this year. Far from the earliest uh, warmest day of the year so far. That was on February 27th, if you can imagine that, when we hit 78. Today, we're sitting at 84 right now in Rockford. Low 80s across the rest of the area. Make sure to get out and enjoy it with plenty of sunshine continuing. And with temperatures still in the 70s by 8 o'clock. It's going to be quite the warm evening. And still upper 60s by 9 o'clock. So if you have any evening plans, especially outside, you definitely got the green light for that a beautiful evening up ahead tonight though we do cool off a little quicker than we did last night though we'll get down to the upper 40s if not low 50s uh, heading into the overnight hours and into tomorrow morning so it will be a little bit of a cooler start to the day tomorrow leading to a slightly cooler day but still well above average uh, mid to upper 70s tomorrow and I wouldn't be surprised if potentially a few spots make a run at 80 but otherwise yet another sunny and warm day out there but our focus here in the weather office is going to be on a low pressure system that is right now just moved on shore into the onto the west coast and that's going to redevelop over the Rockies tomorrow and then it's going to cut across much of the northern plains heading into the next couple of days and that brings us a chance for strong to severe thunderstorms it brings a risk of severe weather across much of the plains tomorrow and then by Tuesday that's when that risk heads into our area we're looking at a two out of five risk across our neck of the woods now, however we are seeing the highest severe weather potential off to our south and west, but this is where those storms will be bubbling up and then moving into our direction. And if they can maintain their strength, we could be looking at potentially all hazards of severe weather. So looking at future track, we could see some scattered uh, showers and non severe thunderstorms during the day. However, this specific model not quite buying that scenario here as we head closer towards the afternoon and evening, though that's when it starts to bring that first wave of showers and mostly non severe thunderstorms. But this will be along a warm front that will be coming through and then these storms that could develop behind that warm front these could be those strong to severe thunderstorms and in fact I think this model may even be a little bit fast with these these may be closer towards 8 9 10 o'clock at night so it's something that of course we'll have to be keeping an eye on heading into tomorrow night as the bulk of the activity moves out still could be some scattered showers and a few rumbles of thunder too heading into Wednesday morning so watch out for Tuesday stay tuned to the forecast for potentially some strong thunderstorms heading into Tuesday night some of those showers and storms could linger into Wednesday but they'll be much weaker by then and in your most accurate 10 day forecast you'll notice much cooler temperatures once the rain wraps up Look at highs in the mid 50s by next weekend. Those low temperatures near freezing, so the gardeners will have to watch out for those plants that have started to bloom. But otherwise, Sam, let's enjoy another day of sunshine and warmth tomorrow.